Friday Phone Jacks with Cosmo and Lauren on Y107. It is time for another Friday Phone Jacks, and uh, Redneck Robert is back, ready oh for Lord, Christmas. It's his favorite trouble comes from him. Favorite holiday of the year is Christmas and Halloween for Redneck Robert. Uh, listener Christina and her husband Rocky, they just moved to mid-Missouri uh, from uh, several states away here recently. Oh, welcome. Uh, she has fallen in love with our show, Lauren. She loves Y107. Uh, she says her favorite part of the show is hooking for hang-up, and she absolutely adores Friday Phone Jacks. Would you please, please, as a Christmas gift, help me prank my husband, Rocky? Sure. So, let's do it. Merry Christmas, Christina. Hello? Hi, is this uh, Rocky? Uh, yes. Hi, I, I assume you're, you're not at home right now, Rocky, is that right? I, I was knocking on the door. Knock, 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 uh, knock, knock. No, did, I'm, did, I'm at work. Uh, who is this? This is Robert. Uh, you, you don't know me, man. I'm sorry, Rocky. Uh, Robert here. Uh, I got your number from your next-door neighbor. She saw me on the front steps walking and looking for you, knocking away there. I, I live a couple blocks down, kind of back behind the uh, the school over by the pool. I was I was friends with the former owner of your house before y'all bought it and moved in. Oh, you knew um, Andre. Yes. Yep, Andre. Good friend of mine from uh, back in the day. I was kind of bummed that they moved. but uh, uh, So uh, what, what can I do for you? Well, here's the thing. See, uh, and, and Andre probably told you about this and, and maybe even put it in some of the paperwork. Uh, you know, I actually never met the people that own the house. We moved in from out of state and did everything remotely. So I came to see the house once, but that was with the realtor. Okay. All right. So you never actually you met Andre then in person? Not in person. Um, hey, like, what, what's this about? I, I kind of got to get back to work. Well, Rocky, like I said, uh, I, I knew the old owners there, and uh, I used to come over there. We'd hang out in the in the backyard with Andre there and, uh, you know, have a few cold ones and grill and fire pits and, okay. you know, hang out, right? And I always liked that pine tree there in the backyard. Over by the shed back there? The tree in the back corner of my yard? Yeah, yeah, that big pine. You know, he wasn't always big. I remember when he planted that little sucker. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's grown over the years. Well, here, I always told Andre, man, that would make a great Christmas tree for my house in my front bay window, you know, right there on the street. Okay. And uh, every year he'd tell me, not yet, buddy, not yet. Maybe next year. Maybe when it gets a little bigger, it'll be for your window. Wait, wait, where's this going? Well, see, this past summer, he knew he was going to sell the house. So he said, you know what? I, I think this year you can take that big pine tree and finally have it for your Christmas this year. No, Wait a minute. No, no, Yeah. So even though he told me um, I could have it, I figured I should let you know, too, since, uh, you know, it's your place now, Rocky. Yeah, I appreciate so, you calling to ask if it's okay, but I really want to keep that tree in my backyard. Well, um, I wasn't calling to ask if it's okay. I was calling to let you know that I, I, I cut it down, Ooh. and I have it already. You, you did Ooh. what? I, I cut down the tree, fired up the chainsaw. Man, man, man. Um, I was going to get it home here real quick, get it in some water. Man, I should call that dude, let him know I took it so he doesn't wonder. No, no, no where wait. You didn't cut down my tree. Well... It's my tree. See, I got permission from the man who planted it. He's the owner of the trees. So I've been waiting all these years. Hold on. You're at my house now? Well, I, I'm getting ready to leave right now. I just got it all strapped down with those ratchet straps here on my truck. And, what in uh, the hell made you think you could just walk into my yard and cut down my tree? Well, I told you. I knocked on your door. You didn't answer. I figured I'd, I'd help myself to my tree. <laughs> I have a gate around my backyard. You know you're trespassing. Well, I'm not anymore. I'm I'm out in my truck now on the street. That's public property. <laughs> I want you to stay right where you are, okay? I'm coming over there, like, right now. You're not leaving with my tree. I, I don't understand why you're getting so mad. Andre said I could have this tree You are an Christmas. idiot. Andre does not own the house. I own the house. It's my house. It's my tree. Well, Rocky, if you are, I'd love to meet you, Rocky. By the way, great name, Rocky, like Rocky Balboa, Adrian. Uh, uh, but I can't hang. I got to get this thing in some water, man before it dries out and the needles all fall down. That's not good. I'm going to dry you out, you son of a bitch. I'm coming oh. over there right now. Well, listen, listen. While you're on the way, why don't you tune in the radio real quick? 106.9. Why what are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? Turn on your radio, Rocky, and you're going to listen and hear yourself on the morning show with Cosmo and Lauren. This is a Friday Phone Jacks. Rocky. Hi. What? Mm. Yes, you're mm -hmm. you're what? on you're on the radio right now. We're messing with you. It's our Friday prank calls. As far as we know, that tree is just perfect, fine, and waiting for you there in the backyard, right where it's been. You son of a <laughs>
<laughs> How did you even know I had a tree? Uh, Christina set you up, man. She put you on blast. And now you're on Friday oh, Phone Jack. I, I was ready to kick your <laughs> like. That was really funny. That was so <laughs> <laughs> You guys are he said i'm gonna dry you out you son of a i think robert almost got his clock clean (laughs) friday phone jacks with cosmo and lauren on y107